In this video, the MAC7219 dot matrix display module is programmed as a spectrum analyzer, displaying the spectrum of periodic signals and audio speech signals. A block diagram of the implemented spectrum analyzer is shown here. We have the MAC7219 dot matrix module is connected with the Arduino using SPI interfacing and the input analog signal will be fed through pin A7 of the Arduino. Two types of inputs will be applied, periodic signals such as a square waveform and also we will apply speech signal. In this demonstration we apply at the input a square waveform and we observe the spectrum on the analyzer which should be a sync function and note how the main lobe of the sync function moves as we increase or decrease the frequency of the waveform. Now we apply a speech signal. The MAC7219 dot matrix module is programmed as a spectrum analyzer, displaying the spectral components of periodic signals and speech signals. Let's have a quick look at the C++ code used in the project. We need to include these uh, libraries, one library for the FFT and the other library for the MAC7219 module. We declare this object display which will be used to access the module and we declare this object FFT which will be used to uh, compute and find the fast Fourier transformation. These two arrays are used to store the 64 spectral components for the real and the imaginary part of the spectrum. And this array contains the column patterns that will be sketched on the MAC7219 module. Within the loop function, using this uh, for loop, we will uh, take 64 samples uh, through analog uh, input uh, A7 and store it into the real component part. Now keep in mind the imaginary part will be zero because the signal is not a complex signal but a real signal. Now this parameter sensitivity which is controlled by the potentiometer connected to analog input A6 will be used to uh, increase or decrease the sensitivity of the spectrum analyzer. Once we have our 64 samples, we apply it to the FFT algorithm to compute the 64 spectral components for the real and for the imaginary. Keep in mind that the spectrum is a complex valued function. Then we apply it to this uh, function which is complex to magnitude that will compute the magnitude of the 64 spectral elements. Now the 64 magnitude values are stored in this array. We use this for loop to cover the 32 columns of the MAC7219 module. Inside the loop we need to constrain the values of the real components to a known range, so for example between 0 and 80. And then we need to remap this to range between 0 and 8. So zero for a specific column would mean all the LEDs are off. And if the value is eight, it means that all the LEDs on that column are on. Real component now has a value between zero and eight, which is used as an index for this uh, array here. So let's say the index had the value of two. So we want to translate this into a column pattern that can be sketched on the uh, module. So to get this two value or remap it we need uh, a binary pattern of one one and all zeros. So if we come back to this uh, array here for index two this is the pattern we need one one all zeros. We come back we store it into this variable here and at this column we sketch the value using this display set column function. In a future video, the MAC7219 Spectrum Analyzer project will be modified by increasing the dimensions of the metrics. Thank you for watching.